Pull out those slow cookers because we're making low carb crawfish queso. Coming up. Now for the best in low carb and keto cooking with a bit of Louisiana flair, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a video. This dip is so creamy, it's so delicious, and served with the perfect pork rind. It is low carb and your harshest critic will love it. I'm so excited. I'm Shelly with Skinny Louisiana. I share these recipes with my hundreds of weight loss clients and in my two cookbooks, Skinny Louisiana in the Kitchen, and Skinny Louisiana in the Slow Cooker. Now it's your turn to bring out the low carb keto friendly spice in your kitchen. Be sure to watch to the end of this video so you can download your recipe and a special surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. Found at your local supermarket, starting with a jar of our Zydeco salsa, two packages of our cream cheese, a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, tablespoon of chopped jalapeno, Let's make it spicy in here, eh? Half of an onion chopped, half a cup of our sour cream, a teaspoon of Tony's spice and herbs, cause you know I like it spicy. And then the star of the show, our pound of our Louisiana, don't you dare give me anything imported, crawfish. Couple of my favorite tricks and tips. These little guys right here, these are our slow cooker liners. I love these, I am obsessed with them. Get to the store right now and buy these. They're at all your supermarkets, in the baking section. We lined our slow cooker with it. My next tip is you take your nonstick cooking spray. Today I have avocado oil. Give it a good spray because we don't want the food to stick to it. And because this is such a creamy, rich dip, we want to make sure that it doesn't stick to because we technically can burn things in the slow cooker. We just don't want to. You notice that we used our cream cheese here and you know what's coming out here, gang? My rubber spatula and y'all know I'm a fan of the rubber spatula. So are you team rubber spatula, team wooden spoon? Comment below and let me know. One thing that I did with the cream cheese gang, you kind of noticed that I cut it into blocks and I'm gonna separate it in here. And the reason we do that is because we don't want just a big blob of cheese. And I can kind of see in my pre-prep, I did not do the best job with this. So I'm gonna try to separate it right here. I did use two blocks. I did do full fat. And the reason is gang, this is a low carb keto kitchen, not anything fat free. We have our cup of our shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, this is where we bring in a little bit of spice. Hello, Mr. Jalapeno, a tablespoon of a chop. Optional. Uh, it could be a teaspoon to a tablespoon. I honestly didn't measure it. it. It's in between that frame. If maybe you have kids or maybe folks, maybe if you're not from the great state of Louisiana, you don't like it so spicy, leave it out. Not a big deal. Half of our onion that we chopped. I have to show off a product I love. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna introduce you to Zydeco Salsa. This is at Drug Emporium. We love Drug Emporium in here. Comment below if you have a Drug Emporium in your town. This salsa, this is Creole Trinity. Comment below if you know what that is. You better if you watch this channel. It is spicy, it is amazing, it is the best salsa, and here's the best part. There's only one gram of carbs in this, so it definitely fits into our eating patterns. If you can't find Zydeco, not a problem gang, just be sure to use a low carb one. Not all salsas are low carb, I'm giving this a stir. Remember some of our salsas do add, get yourself fixed there. They might add like some pineapple or some peaches. And then to add a little bit of our spice, we have our Tony's. Remember when we use the spice and herbs, we are cutting the sodium in half. This is super, 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 super creamy. We're gonna add our half a cup of our sour cream. And y'all know my favorite brand, I really hope I'm saying it correctly, is our Kelowna. This is our Drug Emporium. It's thick, it's creamy, it's like butter, like butter. This is it. Now you notice my crawfish over there. Here's the thing with the slow cooker and seafood. We really don't add seafood to the slow cooker. We add it whenever it's done and leave it on warm for about 30 minutes. Cook this on low for two hours. If we're having a party, we get ready. And then before we leave or before our guests arrive, we put this on warm and we add our crawfish. That is it. What do we serve this with? There's an amazing amount of pork rinds and I know as a dietitian that I ever think I would recommend pork rinds. Oh, no, it used to be a big X in my world, but now I know I've done some research, I've done studying, there's some amazing pork rinds out there. Stay tuned and I'll tell you my favorite ones. Let's get this bad boy covered, gang. <laughs> We 
are ready to try our crawfish queso. Let's remove our lid. We let this cook for two hours and then we threw our crawfish in. We covered the lid. We pressed keep warm. We let it sit about 30 minutes. That I want to thank, oh my gosh, so creamy. What was I saying? Because I'm just, I'm amazed by this absolute gorgeous creaminess of cheese, of crawfish, of Honestly, two of my favorite ingredients. I love cheese, I love crawfish. We married them. Hello, we got a huge amount of protein. And thanks to our friends at Swepco for sponsoring this video for us. Remember to save time and to save energy and to save money in the kitchen. Be sure to visit swepco.com backslash save. I am insanely, oh my gosh. This smells so good. I am insanely excited about this. What does the low carb keto dietitian serve with her queso? These are pork rinds. Now, my favorite brand is Epic. I love Epic because, oh, we'll talk about that in a second. It's time to try this bad boy. Oh my God, it's smoking. Mm. That is heaven. It's not spicy. It has an amazing flavor. It really melts in your mouth. You get the crunch from the pork rind. You get all the flavors. I'm just gonna shut my mouth for a hot minute. What I love about, yes, I'm talking with food in my mouth. What I love about this is that it's super thick and rich, but we could throw in any kind of low carb noodle like the Miracle noodles, the Palami noodles. I'm loving all of this. This, this is, Oh, God, bursting with flavor. And to download your copy of this recipe, scroll below, click the link. The recipe will be delivered directly to your inbox. And remember to save time, energy, and money in the kitchen. Visit swepco.com backslash save. Those folks are awesome. Our 2020 no sugar menu. You can scroll down and download that. It'll give you great keto and low carb tips, menus, and recipes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to take a picture and share it on your social medias, tag in Skinny Louisiana. And if you wanna join a Facebook community of more than 11,000 individuals sharing great low carb recipes, be sure to friend Skinny Louisiana on Facebook. And as always, if you watched me before, we end our videos with, see you later, gators.